What's up guys, Landry Ward, the Lone Star Kid here. Going to be bringing y'all some new content, doing technique breakdowns, and giving my thoughts on it. Thought it'd be fun to start the series out doing some of my older fights. So here's my pro debut, let's get into it. The two techniques we're going to be breaking down are going to be the cross and the lead check hook in this one. So the cross, a good cross, is we're going to turn over our rear shoulder, our rear hip, and give a nice little snap of the wrist at the end of our punch. Give it that extra little pop to sit our opponents down. Power is not going to come from winding up the punch and throwing our whole body into it. It's very telegraphed and easy for our opponents to see. You see smaller guys for their weight classes like Israel Adesanya, Sean O'Malley. Uh, they get their power to sit their opponents down from snapping those punches. Kind of like we'll see here. Watch the rear shoulder, rear hip, rear hand. Slow motion shot, all going to turn over, and then boom, little snap at the end right on the chin. Wobble the opponent, sit him down. And here's what I mean with the wind-up, very easily telegraphed. You see this hand, it's almost down in my hip pocket. Very, Even if he wasn't already rocked, very easy for him to see coming. Not able to put him out, get clenched up, and here we get into the finishing sequence. Check hook. All right, check the lead hand here. I'm going to be reaching that out, kind of testing my distance and also getting a reaction out of him, seeing what he does. If you see, he reaches his hand out to find mine and takes it away from his face. So that's going to set me up here. Stepping in, watch the lead foot here. Lead foot's going to step at an angle. He's going to reach out to find my hand, and I come right over the top with that check hook. Sit him down, couple hammer fists, all she wrote. Sniper celebration on top of the cage. Funny story here, a venue I was fighting at was back in Texas, and I was overlooking and seeing AT&T Stadium in the back, and you know, that's a dream of mine, a goal of mine, be the first MMA fighter to sell that stadium out, and I was having that vision in my head, so when he pulled me and told me to come down, kind of interrupted that vision, and I got a little mad. But just saying, Dana leave Cowboy Stadium to me, let the kid give me a few years and come and sell that place out, let my boy Michael Chandler go knock out Conor McGregor at Allegiant Stadium in Vegas, leave AT&T Stadium to me, other than that, thank y'all for tuning in, please like, comment, follow, subscribe on YouTube, and let me know if there's any other fights y'all would like to see me break down.